I'm Mark Wrighton, Chancellor of Washington University. I'm a chemist by background and I'm very pleased that you're here at Washington University as first year students. For me and for Washington University, I think of academic integrity as always being honest. And I think most would know by now that the motto of Washington University is per veritatem vis, strength through truth. This is a very important theme for anyone involved in scholarship. We believe in truth, seeking truth, and communicating the truth. It sounds like an overwhelming or maybe even a negative term that's something that you could violate or get in trouble for, but actually I see it sort of on the flip side of that, which is it's an opportunity to realize that you're an autonomous voice, and that's why you're here, is to become a better version of that autonomous voice. So what are the tools that can help you do that? Certainly you should look at other people's work and read other people's work, but you should be really clear about attribution when you do that, and overall you should be looking to develop your own thoughts and your own point of view, visual or otherwise, and that uh, academic integrity is a component of, of supporting you in doing that. One of the issues about academic integrity, or just honesty, generally speaking, is that it's something you can do a much better job on if you think about it carefully in advance. Cheating is unfair. It's unjust. Uh, some students may think that it is a victimless crime, but it really isn't because it doesn't just affect you, but it affects many others who have worked very hard to achieve their goals, doing it the right way, uh, by studying hard, by turning in things on time. And I think that Washington University students really want to see their peers achieve the right way. Cheating isn't a one-off thing, it's a pattern of behavior. So if you adopt that pattern of behavior, you can count on it, you're gonna do it again. And and eventually something bad is going to happen. It's really tempting to kind of give in and be like, oh well, so this essay, I could maybe reuse some other words I used in previous essays in this class, or if it's a problem set and it's due at midnight and I still haven't finished it and my friends have, you know, maybe I can ask them for advice, but you kind of have to think about how your friends will view you if you keep doing that or how you'll think about yourself. In law, Laws are clear, they're written to be absolutely clear, and you, a person knows what is against the law and what isn't. But we're not talking about laws when it comes to ethics. You know, No one goes to jail for plagiarizing a paper or cheating on a test. It's not against the law to cheat on a test. But it is wrong, it's ethically wrong. And so we talk about the realm of ethics being the realm where Judgments are made and decisions are made um, when things aren't so clear. The important thing is to, is to live in a community where people can rely upon you to represent your own work truly as your own work. And when you get credit for something, to know that you really deserve that credit and not because you cheated. We try to get students to appreciate that we trust them. They're in an environment where they're trusted to make the right decisions and that hopefully they will make the right decisions. You know, when you're in a classroom taking a test and there's a person in front of you who's not covering up their paper, it may be tempting to look at their answers, um, but the professor's trusting you not to. So when there's a level of trust involved, um, we also want the people we're trusting to have a higher level of ethics to do the right thing. I don't want anyone else doing my work. <laughs> it's, it's my work, you know. Um, I, I believe in taking responsibility for my actions, my work, and that's how, you know, I respect my integrity and I respect the process of learning. Pre-med here is hard, I'm not even gonna lie. You know, it's hard, it really tests how strong you are mentally. And the thing that I think about is what, what, what do I want at the end? Do I want to say I could have, would have, should have, you know, study harder, things like that, or do I just get it done now? I think integrity needs to permeate through all aspects of your life, not just academically, but also socially. The main message I would tell students is that they should attribute absolutely every time they, you know, use uh, a, a piece of artwork in something they're making or they borrow something, they should, they should attribute that in writing. And if they do that, um, they really protect themselves in the best way. So I think students who um, inadvertently or, or maybe by intention sometimes don't include that attribution uh, in their work or more at risk and that um, you know I would really encourage that they attribute. Time is just so short at WashU. I feel like if you don't plan there's time wasted. Uh, I personally just have a planner. I write everything out, try to plan my day accordingly, 
things change, you know, everything doesn't go as planned, but at least I know that I have some structure to my day rather than just freelancing, you know, on campus. What I want to do is get them to come to me so that I can teach them and help them with their study skills, or I can teach them and help them with their time management skills and their organizational skills. To be honest, it's our responsibility to make it very clear what's allowed and what's not allowed. And we do so usually by publishing a document, a web page, or something we hand out to the students that might even give examples that for this kind of an assignment, this particular kind of collaboration is allowed. In my profession and in our teaching, we actually have collaborative assignments. We would not be happy if the students didn't collaborate. We want to make sure that they're working together. And we watch that collaboration, and we try to make sure that when people are collaborating, it's a peer-to-peer -peer equal kind of collaboration. But for an assignment where a professor says, um, a set of rules by which you're supposed to follow, let's say, to do the assignment, it should be clear to the student, and if it's not, if there's any question at all, uh, the student should feel free to ask the professor or the TA what's meant by the rule. Let's say you copy somebody else's assignment, that's sort of an obvious case of cheating or plagiarism, but a case that may not be so obvious is, let's say I'm a high school student and I turned in an essay in response to a high school assignment, and then in college, I get a similar question, let's say, set to me by an English professor, and I simply take that work and turn it in again. Dual submission of academic work is something that confuses students. Um, they'll ask themselves, you know, this is my own academic work, this is my own intellectual property, so how can I possibly be committing academic dishonesty? Uh, the issue is the issue of getting credit for the same academic work twice. You can always request to the initial faculty member that you submitted the work to and the faculty member that you'd like to submit the work to a second time if they would accept the work and many faculty are willing to do that uh, under a certain set of circumstances so for example ordinarily they would ask that you uh, develop the idea a little bit further. And ultimately what the academic integrity policy is trying to do is level the playing field and making sure that everybody's starting from the same point. But if a test or if a paper or if some assignment exists outside of the professor's knowledge, it is on one hand certainly being dishonest, but on another giving yourself an advantage that other students simply don't have. Washington University is an academic community. This community has expectations and standards that students are expected to adhere to. We expect that students will not request any academic benefit, including an extension of time, a better grade, or a recommendation from an instructor when the request is based on false information or deception. We expect that students will not make any changes, including adding material or erasing material, on any test paper, problem set, or class assignment being submitted for a regrade. We also expect our students to not willfully damage the efforts or work product of other students. We expect that students will not collaborate with other students planning or engaging in any form of academic misconduct. It is dishonest to fabricate or falsify data in laboratory experiments, research papers, and reports. This includes fabricating source material in a bibliography or works cited list, or to provide false information on a resume or other document in connection with academic efforts. It is also dishonest to take data developed by someone else and present them as one's own. During an exam, students may not use material not authorized by the faculty member. They must not receive or provide any unauthorized assistance on an examination. Nor should a student submit any academic work under someone else's name other than his or her own name. This includes but is not limited to sitting for another person's exam. In the event that this does occur, both people involved will be held responsible. The university does look at each individual case on their individual facts, and we try to work with students. So even though we may find a student in violation and we ultimately end up sanctioning them, part of that educational sanction is trying to get them to understand why what they did was inappropriate and how to not repeat the offense. Any academic institution excels because we have tremendous people. The faculty, the students are what make Washington University great. We have to be able to depend on our students and on our faculty to always exhibit the highest integrity. Time management is going to be very important for all students as they proceed through Washington University, but taking shortcuts in your academic work is never a good idea. If you need extra time, approach your faculty. I'm sure they'll be understanding. Of course, Washington University is going to maintain the highest standards possible.
That's why you've been admitted to Washington University.